We are gonna have to start from scratch. Only after we master these tasks do we consider trying to land on the moon. Mm. Wow. wow. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. That was a scene from the movie First Man. The movie chronicles the life of Neil Armstrong and his quest to be the first man on the moon. Yes. Our sister Trina recently sat down with the film star Ryan Gosling with his fan self, <laughs> along with the Oscar winning director Damien Chazelle and Neil Armstrong's real life sons. Wow. Let's mm. take a look. Wow. This nation should commit itself to achieving the goal of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. We set sail on this new sea because there is new knowledge to be gained. Riveting. Oh, and absolutely amazing. Thank you. Um, I think you have to be a science person to really, but you don't really have to be, but to really just grasp the whole life of Neil Armstrong and to really get that personal part of him that you never really get to experience and see. Mm -hmm. You guys are uh, six-time Academy Award winners, and you're back together again after La La Land. Tell me about this new experience together. Well, it actually, it started before La La Land, so it was the first um, project we met about. Mm -hmm. And, um, but Damien had a musical to make, so we, we, ended up, <laughs> was that? we ended up talking more about Gene Kelly than Neil Armstrong. But I'm glad that we had the time because, as you say, you know, it's, it's, it's dense subject matter and, uh, you know, very, very complicated people and many layers to the story. So it, it just took, it took all the time we had to, um, sort of cram for it. Okay. So, Ryan, what do you think you had to do to mentally prepare for this role? Well, um, there was, a, you know, a lot to, to technically address, you know, because there's so much focus on the technical aspect of the missions and the missions themselves. Um, but, but, you know, just, just getting to know Neil and his family, you know, obviously I, I couldn't get to know Neil directly, but I had to get to know him through his family. And, um, you know, that involved meeting his sister and we went to uh, the, the farm where he was born and grew up or uh, his sons were very involved, his, his late ex-wife Janet, who Claire Foy plays, friends, family, co-workers, just, just, just doing as much as we, as we possibly could to meet as many people as we could to try and, uh, you know, glean as much information as, as possible. Okay. Damien, the, the controversial planting of the American flag. So tell me about your decision not to include that portion. Well, you know, it, it, it wasn't so much a decision not to include it. It was more sort of a, a you know, question of uh, what we had time to, to, to emphasize on mm -hmm. the moon. And we wanted to tell the personal story of this. So, um, so we, you know, obviously, and everyone who sees the film um, will see this, uh, you know, we do show the flag on the lunar surface. Mm -hmm. And and we also, uh, you know, uh, I think went to great lengths to show not the extent to which this was obviously an American achievement, but also the extent to which it really uh, was carried on the shoulders of American taxpayers. Mm -hmm. The American people together um, had to shoulder the burden of this, and 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 actually, there was a lot of disagreement about it. You know, uh, even in the '60s, going towards the moon landing. Uh, uh, once that landing happened, uh, uh, to me, it was really what I was fascinated by was the stuff we hadn't seen, the stuff we didn't know, the solo uh, uh, time that Neil spent at this crater close to the lunar module, the private moments, uh, what he might have been thinking, what memories he might have been experiencing during that. Um, so so I think we really tried to make sure to let the audience kind of be in his shoes, uh, mm -hmm. both physically and emotionally, hopefully. Um, that was really the hope. But I definitely see it as a patriotic film and a celebration of, uh, of you know, uh, American achievement. We need to fail down here so we don't fail up there. This isn't just another trip, Neil. You're not just going to work. Do you think you're coming back? Absolutely. I like the way you depicted the fact that he did not give up after yeah. all the heartbreak, after all, after all the grief. Mm. So can you tell me why it was so important to display the fact that he just kept going? Well, it was one of the things that just amazed me about both him and, and his wife, Janet, mm -hmm. you know, just, uh, uh, I mean, at times their life read like the book of Job, you know, it was mm -hmm. just like one thing after another thrown at them. And you th think that this would stop any normal human being in their tracks. Mm -hmm. And yet they found a way to keep on going. And also, I don't know, there's almost this sort of, you know, 
getting back to some kind of essential essence of that American character, there's some kind of a, a stoic kind of grit with which they they uh, uh, overcame those obstacles. They didn't complain about it. Neil didn't exactly. broadcast his emotions to the world. You know, he tucked them in, he put them into his work. Uh, and there's something really inspiring about that on, on, on both those fronts. All right. Well, I thank you both for your time. Thank you. And I would like to encourage everyone to go and see First Man. It's an amazing, riveting, compelling movie. You can't miss it. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Great job, Trina. First man is in theaters tomorrow. Up next, Sister Circle Savings. Yay!